one of the questions that I frequently get is, how do I disciple my kids throughout the week? You know, we have our Planet Faith Sunday School material on Sunday, but what are some of the things that I can do with my kids uh, during the week so that they can grow in Christ? Well, uh, here in our family, April and I, we do uh, two main things every day with Noah and Sophie, our kids. Uh, the first is we read the Bible with our children. Um, this is to help them to understand the flow of the Bible story and how it points to Jesus. The second thing we do is we answer our kids' questions on uh, what it means to follow Jesus. Right? And to help us read the Bible with our kids, uh, I have a few devotionals uh, to recommend today. And to help us answer our kids' questions, uh, I have a few catechisms uh, to share with you today. Right, so that's what I want to do today. I want to share with you uh, two categories of books. The first is devotionals. The second is catechisms. Right. So daily devotionals, they help you uh, give structure to uh, your Bible reading to kids. Uh, what's a catechism, you might be asking? A catechism is basically a topical summary of what Christians believe. All right? A catechism is a topical summary of what Christians believe. So uh, usually they take... Uh, the form of a question and answer format. Okay, so let's talk about devotionals. I've got uh, three devotionals to recommend. Um, the first is a Table Talk for Families. This comes from the nice people at the Good Book Company. Uh, it's really great. Uh, so uh, this is great for kids who are in kindergarten and below, uh, maybe even primary one. And I love it because um, you know, it tells you, uh, something, suggests something to read every day. And it also has parents' notes and a full script of um, what to say. So it's really, really easy to use. Uh, and you could uh, really uh, get this uh, done in about 10 to 15 minutes. You want the time of our kids in the Bible to be punchy and not too long drawn. So I think this is a really age appropriate for kids who are kindergarten and below, right? By the way, I will put all the links to where you can get this uh, in the description below. The second devotion I want to suggest is for older kids. Uh, it's by Marty Machowski. He has one for the Old Testament and one for the New Testament. Right. So uh, Marty Machowski is, this one is called Long Story Short. It's basically a devotional going through the whole Old Testament. And let me show you an example. Uh, so, one thing I like about it is uh, it's not moralistic. You know, so, uh, so a lot of children's stories are about good morals rather than gospel. Um, this is a, an example of what it looks like. Uh, it has a full script. Again, you can go through the devotions about 10 to 15 minutes. And what I like about it is it also talks about how uh, it points to Jesus, right? So it doesn't, it makes it very clear that the Bible is all about Jesus. For example, it always has a section called Connected to Jesus. So you can check this out. It's for older kids, for primary school kids. Long story short, it's for the Old Testament. Uh, I forgot what the New Testament one is called, uh, but I'll put the description in the link below. All right. The third thing that I do for devotions with kids is, all right, this is not really a devotional. It's basically reading the Bible, all right? So currently I'm going through the Gospel of Mark with Noah and well, it says it's a children's Bible, but it's basically an ESV Bible uh, with some pictures uh, here and there, right? Noah's primary one, and uh, I want him to get used to the idea of uh, just reading the Bible that I and April use. Uh, the, the more we do it, I think the more comfortable he will be in uh, reading the, the adult's Bible on his own. Uh, so it's not really devotional, it's basically an ESV Bible for kids. And what I do is I read... Uh, uh, smaller chunks of Mark uh, in sections, and you'd be surprised at, in how how much a, a child can can take in and at, the questions that they ask. So I highly encourage you um, mix it up a bit, do devotions, but also just uh, read Bible uh, with the kids. Right. So that's the first category of stuff that I want to talk about: devotionals. Uh, next, I want to talk about uh, catechisms. Okay, so catechisms are basically topical summaries of what Christians believe. Okay, uh, we're going to start with uh, kindy and below. 
So everything a child needs to know about God, it presents all the core truths of the Christian faith in a question and answer format. So, so let me, me talk about part five. Here's an example. Jesus comes to help us. So it has a summary statement. Jesus is God's son. An elaboration and a question uh, to uh, help our kids actively recall what we just said. Okay, so yeah, it's really helpful. Questions and answers, you know, they are, I think they are the best way to help our kids uh, remember uh, what's going on. Uh, so this book is really helpful in catechizing our kids. The second one for our older kids is Big Truths for Little Kids. Again, uh, there are questions and answers, uh, just summarizing what Christians believe. Uh, they also have a story, uh, I don't know when you can read it, that uh, kind of summarizes the themes of the questions and answers. So you want to mix it up a bit. You want to go through the Bible stories uh, to give our kids an idea of how the Bible points to Christ. But you also want to present, you also want to ask questions and answers uh, so that our kids have, have a, a framework in mind. Uh, of how to process of what the Bible is saying. The last thing that I want to recommend is the New City Catechism from our friends at Crossway. Uh, this is really, really helpful um, because it's basically kind of like the uh, West, Westminster Confession of Faith. Uh, it has a total of 52 questions, right? And answers. And I think catechisms are great to use in the... Uh, in conjunction with uh, Bible reading, uh, because it helps to uh, uh, scaffold uh, what we really believe as Christians. Right. So, for example, uh, let me give you a question. Let me give you an answer. All right. Question nineteen: Is there any way to escape uh, punishment and be brought back to God's favor? Yes, God reconciles us to himself by Redeemer. The great thing about this is it can be done really quickly. I, I've done it with my, my kids while on the way to school in the car. You know, every day I'll just do one question and uh, they will repeat the answer. And by the end of 52 days, uh, they will have uh, gone through this one cycle. Uh, so it's really, really helpful. Uh, there isn't, there's even an app that you can download on your iPhone or your Android phone. Uh, if, if you, and it's free, uh, if you don't want to buy this, so new city catechism. Right. So, uh, there you go. We've got devotions to help, uh, you and your kids with your Bible reading so that they know how the Bible points to Jesus. And you've got your catechisms, uh, so that, uh, to help answer your kids' questions about following Jesus and what that means. All the, uh, description of, uh, where to get these, uh, resources are in the description below. Uh, so I hope that's helpful uh, to answer your question. How can I disciple my kids to Jesus throughout the week? See you.